thank you for having me here. And um, I thought I'd start out with making spheres. Uh, just to find an easy way and popular piece. This is one from 1983 that wow. I made. Just bringing it. Uh, so, I, you know, I hope they can be better, maybe. But um, you can pass it around and let them. Oh, I sort of almost touch it. Light. Oh, yeah, and they are really light. round and beautiful. Um, so that's what I do. I learned to in Colmo a long time ago at Pilchuck, I guess the first year there, and uh, been below glass for 40 years. I think I started at uh, Mass Art in 1972 or something like that. I graduated from Mass Art in 1974 and came out here. So I um, had a hot shop for 25 years at where Preston is now. And um, I haven't really blown glass for 10 years. So, so this is kind of me getting back into it again. Uh, I bought, this is where I'm starting with the colors. This, I have years of these sort of um, Polaroids that when they started. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then they go digital, but there's where I've lost it. You, with Katie, she knows. I mean, I just like draw blank when I look now to try to like attach a photo and a size and a where it came from. And so, you know, they went to the... After years and years of slides and four by fives, it was just really tough. So, but I have all these little formulas of all the colors. I can show those oh, too. Oh, so that's how I, you know, I just took careful notes of every time I made pieces of what color I used, so I could either test the compatibility or use it again or something. But you know, the colors have changed over the years. So, um, and I found when I started just now. I like forgot all the color numbers, you know, K22 over G, there's just too many numbers and stuff. So for me, it's just starting back out again and getting, uh, testing some new colors this morning and uh, just getting into it again and doing my thing. And I want to make it fun for the team, uh, you know, kind of quicker for the audience to kind of stay interested and see, see some action and uh, hope everybody can be happy with it. So, you know, let me know. So time-wise, for something like this, what would that normally be? Is that 45 minutes now? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, yeah, yeah we never, you know, it depends upon, the, it's actually the, the leading up to it and dropping all the colors, so it depends yeah. upon how much, how much complicated the color overlaying is. But, yeah, they should be less than an hour, certainly, or you can even maybe quicker, so. The first things that we're starting with are just two colors, so be quick. Yeah, we're doing just easy and just get the size right, and then probably make them a little larger. But and the, for me, then it's a, a matter of <clears throat> how much color to use per proportion of what we're making for size. Because I like the color to be thin and glassy looking and translucent, and and now the colors are newer bars, and I don't know Reichenbach so much, and so it's sort of like learning learning that. With the help of everybody. And it, it sounds fun to be kind of making some of the things you made earlier. Yeah, yeah many years ago. So. Yeah, I stopped making those probably in '85 or something like that, and then they got bigger, and then they got wider, and but you know, and then added a little bit. You know, actually, I've <coughs> I've watched the last few weeks with Dante and John making their thing, and then Lena making his thing, and I mean, it's so complicated and back and forth, and Kane and this and that. It's like, you know. I know I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just too complicated for me too, and time time consuming, and they're beautiful products. But I kind of always liked that I made it one shot and it's done. Take it off the punty and move to the next piece. And uh, of course, I had my own studio and had to produce enough work to support it. So it was a kind of a game of <laughs> numbers. But I like blowing glass and always have. <laughs> Uh, it's a little hard for me to stand around and watch, actually. <laughs> do you plan to blow some glasses? I week? do. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should jump in. Yeah, I, I might do a little. Yeah, you yeah. should definitely take a gather. <laughs> no, I think yeah. you should just jump all the way in. Okay. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be cool. Yep, I've worked with a lot of nice people over the years, for sure. You know, I, I, my studio was small, so I just have one assistant. So I'm used to, you know, we just make one and do it next. And um, you know, so definitely, everyone's gotten so talented in the whole glass, glass world. <laughs> so it's amazing to see what it's become. Well, you know, I think it was almost a year ago when we talked about this residency, and Jim Chance, who I know you know, 
said that he constantly has people asking him about your work. That you so he was really excited about the idea of a residency and was the one that kind of put us in contact with the Van Andals, who we also knew to support this. So oh, that's nice uh, to hear. The key, yeah. People are interested and yeah, I have my fans. <laughs> and are looking forward to seeing what you produce. So yeah. that's fun. I think some people will come down and visit too, I hope. And I told people to live stream it too. So um, you know, it's a whole world of glass out there. And it's really fun that they can be sitting in their living room and wherever country or place and kind of keep in touch with what's going on. Yeah, uh, well, I'm from Massachusetts. But I didn't know Jim then, but I knew the gallery back then because I lived in the Berkshires for a while where they were too. And okay. Then they come yearly now to do a little tour. And there's where I met Bob oh, last okay. fall. Oh, last spring, a year ago, yeah. Okay. 